So if you want to buy a camera or upgrade, this is the question that is always on our minds. The number of times that I struggle making decisions on what to buy is uncountable. However, I have a criteria that helps me to make a more informed other than an emotional and influenced decision when buying gear. And that is what I am sharing with you today in just a few seconds. If it's your first time for you to be on our channel, welcome and we would like to know where you're watching us from by commenting on the comment section below. And if you are our subscriber, we are grateful for your support and welcome to our today's episodes. So if you have not subscribed, please, please, the red button is yours to smash, to slap, to hit, whatever you want to do with it. Now, when you do that, do not forget to click on the bell icon so that you cannot um, be passed when we release a new video. So just click on the red subscribe button and the bell icon and you won't miss our next tip and tricks video. So in this channel, you, our audience, are already photographers or aspiring photographers. Now we have a rule of not being geaholic. We have to ask ourselves the question, what do I need it for? And if I need it, do I need it now? Does what I have currently serve me enough? When you are running a business, now you start making more intelligent decisions. How much does it cost? Will my business be able to pay for it? If it can afford it, how long will the return on investment take? Will this camera increase the value of my services and likewise increase income? If not, let me remain with what I have until the need comes. That's when I will buy the next gear. So always ask yourself real questions and the best thing is to write them down and have an analysis. Now the issue of which gear to buy should be approached in these three categories. Number one is what do you want it for? Number two, what is your budget? And number three, what is your preference? Also, we would like to divide cameras based on these, these three things, these, these three categories. Number one, compact lenses. Number two, DSLRs or digital single lens reflexes. Number three, mirrorless cameras. And number four, bridge cameras. What you want should be the first question that you ask yourself. Do you want it for travel, home uh, documentaries, professional use, etc, etc, etc. So if you want it for travel, maybe you do not need a pro photographer camera unless you are a professional travel photographer. For travel purposes, you would you'd recommend a compact camera. It is small and it can be put even on the shirt pocket. So that is what we would recommend. However, its lens is small and does not zoom far. Also, the sensor is small and that's why the, it's small. So you may struggle to have more creative pictures using it. If you want more zoom power on the lens, you can upgrade from a compact camera to a bridge camera. This is like a compact, but it has a more powerful zoom lens. Now for it to be able to have this more zoom power, it is bigger than compact camera, but then it works best, it works better. So both these two cameras do not have a detachable lens. And so it is impossible for you to change lenses with convenience and so it will be a hindering uh, a hindrance to anyone who wants to be more creative now for one who wants to be more creative you can jump to a dsrl now a dsrl means a digital single lens reflex camera meaning it has a detachable lens and also it has a mirror system which helps us focus or have a viewfinder however there are levels of dsrl depending on the use and the proneness of the photographer if there's a one like proneness now there are entry level DSLRs and there are high end DSLRs. If you're a beginner photographer, I would recommend an entry level DSLR. It does an amazing work uh, with the, uh, the kit lens. Learn with it, earn money, then upgrade to a high end DSLR. This may be too expensive for fun and travel, but it is important for professional creative. As a commercial break, we would love if you followed us on our social media platforms because we are on YouTube once a week. But on our social media platforms, we are there daily to converse with you. Start by joining our Facebook group called the Creative Learning Hub, where we create a community of photographers that help each one of us grow in skill and an opportunity, and also in business because money is important. Now remember, money answers all problems. Also, follow me on my Instagram handle at 
uh, released and from there you'll be able to be led to our business pages our accounts like weddings and events and also our video production company follow and like our facebook page called the jonathan james creative for business and creative learning hub for our photo and video masterclasses if you want to join our masterclasses the link is in the description below make sure that you join other photographers as they become pro photographers so to view our work the links to our websites are in the description below and you can pass by and check them out and make sure that you share to a friend or family member that needs it the SRLs are a bit bulky due to the mirror system in the body that reflects light so that you can see a picture through the viewfinder however if you want the same performance of a dslr on a small compact camera mirrorless cameras are your next choice they do not have a mirror system and so the big space is reduced into a small compact camera these cameras have been improved to take even high resolution videos like 4k videos and they are not cheap but they are for pros and i would recommend a mirrorless camera number two is when you're considering budget now this is the simplest way to determine what camera to buy because you cannot buy beyond your pocket. Now if you have a budget of for example 50 to 200 dollars then a compact camera will be the best choice for you. You can get a very good compact camera at that price range. If it is 200 to 400 then a bridge camera will be the best next option. That is when you want a better zoom range and a stronger lens. If your budget is from $500 to $1,500, to $1, then you can get a decent DSLR uh, camera and that is very good for beginner photographers who want to start learning photography or want to start a photography business. Now from $1,500 to $6,000, you can get high-end DSLR and mirrorless cameras. Those things will blow your mind. So if you choose a camera to buy with your budget, then look at your pocket and then decide which camera do you want to buy. So the next one is preference. Now this depends on the company and the size ETC. Now there are many camera companies, e.g. Sony, Pentax, Nikon, Fujifilm, Canon, you can name them. One may prefer a certain brand for a specific reason and so it is a factor of consideration. But for the preference choosing, one must have done research, used a product elsewhere or asked a friend and gathered opinions concerning what to consider before buying some product or buying a piece of gear. Now size also matters. One may need a small pocket size camera, another may be a big DSLRs. So their choices will be different. So hope you have benefited and you will make the right decision on what camera to buy. Thank you for your time and until next time, if you have any further questions, please let us know. So we do these videos for you because we value you. So that you cannot miss any of our episodes, I suggest that you click on the red subscribe button below. So make sure you click it. Click it. Also do not forget to hit on the bell icon. So ring the bell so that you can get notifications every time we release a new video. So I'm waiting for you to ring the bell. Ring it. Click it. Click on it. Thank you for clicking on it. And now welcome to 